Well, welcome to Qigong at Open Circle Studio off the Corniche in Abu Dhabi, where we have a wonderful view of the waterway. Today I invite you to a Qigong session and to get in a comfortable standing position, aligning your feet, your back, and your head between heaven and earth, exploring the posture by sinking your knees, tucking your lower back, head up, chin back, shoulders drop, hands soft. And then adjusting our breath, putting our hand on the navel, and breathing into our bellies, connecting with our sensual breath. And then slowly pouring out with one hand up to prayer position our regrets of the past, and doing the same with the other hand, pouring out our anxieties of the future and where they dissolve together is the present moment, which will be the focus of our practice today. So inhaling and stepping out with our left leg and floating our hands down as we exhale, feeling the energy and feeling the earth. Inhaling with our palms up, chest level, exhale, palms down towards the earth, floating them, inhale up, exhale, float down, feeling the earth, the energy sifting through and filtering What's going on in your energy field? Are you feeling some kind of physical sensation or some emotional sensation? And then painting a waterfall with our hands, the backsides of our hands going up the waterfall, and then shifting our palms so they're pointing out, painting down the waterfall as we exhale. So inhale, brush up, flip the brush, Exhale, brush down, feeling the energy of that waterfall and feeling it coming to earth. Noticing any sensation, noticing any feeling. And then shaking our hands. Trying to move them, moving them up slowly. Explore all sensation, all feelings as we're doing it. Here we're releasing energy that no longer serves us. We're shaking it out, making room for new energies. Shaking the hands to the sides, stretching out our backs, feeling energy, hands above us, the side behind us, shaking, and then pumping our ankles and moving our whole body, jiggling our whole body, opening up the lines of energy known as meridians, they sometimes called it lines of, of uh, nadis, the prana, pranic lines, Ascends lines and Thai massage. And just freely moving in any way that feels good. Because when we feel good, we're creating good energy for our body. Always staying within our comfort zone. It's sometimes nice to also close our eyes when we do this. And in doing so, though, it's good to, uh, if it's uncomfortable, to close your eyes, to move up against the wall and sort of get oriented to your body position. So you know where you are and 
so you can shake without any fear. Jumping, moving the arms, free flow, letting the energy flow. Opening up all lines, relaxing our nervous system and our muscles, just allowing them to gently shake, jiggle, wiggle. And then we shimmy from side to side, left to right, up our legs, our abs, our shoulders, shimming back and forth. And embracing now all sensation, all feeling, our physical state. See if you notice any shift in energy, any tingling in the hands. A moment to smile down upon all your organs in your body now and then gently swing from side to side lifting up the opposite foot if you need to to make it comfortable as you swing your arms freely allowing the back of your hand to sort of tap and slap the back of your on your back about two inches below your navel activating energy gate there and around your kidneys making a soft fist and allow that soft fist to to tap on the lower abdomen the rib cage where we have the liver and gallbladder on the right and on the left we have our spleen and pancreas and then up to our upper chest where we have our lung points our central chest where we have more of a, our kidney 27 point below our carp bone to our sternum where we have our thymus gland where we have our T cells that are being made for our immune system and tap where you'd like where you'd like to activate the energies of your body now get the full motion swing by throwing salt as if you're throwing salt over your shoulder looking behind you Allow that free flow, that free swing, opening up all the energy lines with ease, always within our comfort zone. And notice and feel, notice and feel all sensations. Inhale, exhale, letting the hands down. And then inhaling and exhaling as we push up. Inhale and then exhale as we push up with our inner hand above our head and our outer hand with the palm face down towards the ground. This is called bird twisting feathers. Inhale. Exhale, pushing out. Inhale, and exhale, pushing out, stretching that whole side body, pushing from side to side, now more at head level, getting more of the twist in the hips and the sides. Shoulders and arms out to the side. Opening up our energy lines. Exhale, push. Inhale, center. Exhale, push. Inhale, center. Exhale, push and twist. Inhale, center. And then come to ground and feel. Embrace all sensation, all physical sensation. Embrace all feelings, all emotions.
inhale and exhale we're doing spinal cord breathing now opening up our chest and then exhaling and tucking our tail opening inhale exhale tucking our tail inhale opening the, the chest exhaling tucking so we're just breathing with our whole spinal cord exhale inhale open exhale close Exhale, tuck, inhale, open the chest, allowing the free flow of chi throughout our body. Noticing and feeling all sensations, all feelings. And then gently start feeling the earth below you by having your hands, palms down, as if they're holding down a beach ball in the water, keeping it from surfacing. And then moving your body, your hips, shifting in a figure eight like motion, like an infinity symbol. Led by your senses, your intuition, your heart, allowing your centeredness with the earth to guide you more than your mind, just allowing that rocking sensation, that circular sensation on each side, forming that figure eight, noticing, feeling the ground below. And coming more to hip with distance stance. going to shrug our shoulders and let go. So shrugging, tensing up our shoulders, and then letting go, letting them drop. Shrugging, tensing up our shoulders, bringing our shoulders up to our ears. And then just letting it go, releasing any conscious and unconscious tension. Sometimes we don't know that we're holding tension there. But by doing this, we release both the tension we're aware of and that we're not so aware of. Inhale, tense. Exhale, release. Inhale, tense. Exhale, release. And we're going to do this with our toes and balls of our feet, coming up to the balls of our feet. And then releasing, feeling it shudder, our legs. Inhale, up the balls of the feet. Exhale, shudder down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down to our heels. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, tense up. Exhale, release all tension. Just doing that at your own pace. And we're going to do both at the same time. We're going to tense up our feet and our shoulders and come down together and releasing them both. Letting go of any unconscious and conscious tension throughout our body. Doing that at your own pace. Noticing and feeling now all sensation, all feelings, coming to a deeper stance now. Pushing up to the heavens, exhaling down, getting a full body stretch, inhaling, slowly up the center channel. So you get your arms up and exhaling down all the way out, sending your, your back out, and then hanging. Gently coming up as you inhale, inhaling all the way until you reach the top, exhaling out and down, inhaling up slowly, 
above the head, exhaling out and around and down. And explore just hanging out here for a sec. Stretching out the lower back. Bend your knees if you need to. It's allowing for that inhale up and exhale out and down. Allowing that for the energy to move. And hanging down here for a bit like a rag doll. Head hanging down. Notice any areas of tension and maybe breathe into them gently. You can straighten out your back a little bit if it feels good to you. And just hang in that position. And you can alternate that and release that. Coming back up, embracing all sensation, embracing all feeling. Inhaling and opening, sort of like the spinal cord breathing, but now this is, we're doing a more intense form of it called honoring heaven and earth. Inhale, open the chest, honoring heaven as you inhale. Exhale, close, press the fists together, squeeze the face, the feet, squeeze, and so does the perineum which is where we hold our uh, urine. And just squeeze it all as you exhale. Inhale, open like a big chi pump. Allowing for all the chi to enter the body, the chest. Exhale, looking down, squeezing the fist, the face, the balls of the feet with the heels, the perineum. Inhale, release open. Exhale, close, look down, squeeze, this face, feet, turn in. Exploring this in a way that feels good for you, that's tied to your breath, your biomechanics, Like a big solar the universe absorbing all the positive energy through your body bringing in that photosynthesis so to speak as a plant would say it but you're taking in all this vitamin d indulging in all this sunlight and storing that chi throughout your body and bringing your hands to your rib cage, storing it in your liver, storing it in your spleen, known as holding wood. That's just coming to ground, pushing that energy. So we're centered with the energy, holding the energy in a confident way, plus holding metal. Grounded, rooted, and centered, and confident. Observe and feel, notice. Mindfully adjusting our posture and then gently moving from side to side. Exhaling to the side, bring our hands down to our knees, inhaling center, 
exhaling to the other side, allowing the other hand to come down to the side of the other knee. Inhaling center. All movement tied to our breath, our own lung capacity, our own biomechanics. Widening now the stance so we get a better stretch. This move is known as bamboo in the wind. So just pretend you're bamboo that's bending in the wind. A gentle breeze. Exhale, feel that breeze. Inhale, take in the gentle sunlight, feel some gentle breeze. Exhale, bending with the breeze in harmony and balance. Now, um, opposite hand, the shoulder that's coming up, just push that palm up to the sky while the other hand drifts down to the knee. So we're going to reverse our breathing now and as we extend the hand up to the side and over, we're going to actually breathe in and when we go to the center, we're going to breathe out. Breathe in, extend, and open the side. Exhale, center. Inhale, extend, and over, opening up the side. Exhale, center. See if you notice a shift in energy when we change our breathing in that way. Notice. Feel the earth. Connect with your essence. Inhale and push up and open the sky. Exhaling down. Inhale. Exhale. Pushing out. Inhale. Opening the sky. Exhale, floating the hands back to the earth, recycling, recomposting, inhaling, bringing the earth's energy to the chest, and exhaling, pushing and holding up the sky. And just take three deep breaths, holding up the sky. Breathe into your belly. Go ahead and exhale down. Inhale all the way up. And breathe three times deeply into your stomach. Feeling the chi build up within you. Exhale, floating the hands down. Inhale, gathering the chi. Holding up the sky above. Breathing deeply. Moving in a way that feels good for you. Exhale, release. Feel the ground. Connect with yourself. Place a hand on your 
tummy button and gently circle that hand. Where the mind goes, the chi flows. Where the chi flows, the blood goes. So we're putting our attention now to our tummy, our intestines, gently exploring that with our hand. The fourth dimension of qigong is massage talked about briefly three other dimensions of body and movement that's one of the dimensions breath is the second and mind is the third and massage is the fourth now exploring with the other hand circling around the navel that about nine times gently exploring This is a form of neuroaffective touch of tummy radiance massage, which is a very old form of massage that forms are practiced in both India, Thailand, China. Now, getting both hands together, we're going to to do an abdominal rub back and forth the abdomen. With both hands now, we're going to circle, exhaling down, push towards our left leg, inhaling up as we bring it up towards our right rib cage in our abs, exhaling down towards the leg, the left leg, up towards the right side of the abs. Inhale up, exhale, circle down. Inhale, circle up, exhale, circle down. Do this about nine times as well. Notice and feel. All sensation, all feeling. When we combine uh, all these ingredients together, we can really feel our energy balance. So we're going to do what's called tracing the chi, rubbing the hands together, and then following the panic, uh, the um, meridian dot lines behind our lower back, around our front of our inner leg, up to our torso up around our face again, tracing behind our neck, our back, all the way behind our glutes, behind our calves, around our feet, up our inner leg. It's activating all the energy lines up our torso. One more time around our head, our ears, our back, our glutes, back of our legs, Allowing ourselves to feel and explore these energy subtleties. One hand on your sternum, gently rub, and the other on your belly button. Mm. Allow that hand to explore underneath your collarbone towards your shoulder, a little pit between their chest and your shoulder. And if there's any tenderness, just go there and explore that. In the sternum where the T cells are made and, and where the uh, thymus gland is, to our heart and lung points. Now we're tracing the chi down our arm, flicking off any unneeded chi. It's like a river of chi that flows off our arm, gently brushes our face. We feel the heat of our palm kind of against our cheek. On the other hand, again, explore the other side of your chest and for any tenderness, rubbing your lung points, your kidney 27, which is underneath your collarbone. 
and then running the hand down the river of chi down our arms, flicking off any chi that's not needed, any energy that's not needed, and gently above our cheek, brushing our hand, feeling the heat off our hand, switching sides. They say that in Qigong, that water that moves never stagnates. And that holds true with our qi, that holds true with our body movements, keeping that qi flowing, keeping the blood flowing, the circulation, keeping our bodies moving is a foundation of vitality and health. Allowing that gentle expiration of the heat of our hand on our cheek. And really looking inside as you do this, feeling the chi, feeling your energy, being good to yourself and compassionate to yourself as you do this gentle movement, long, smooth, and deep breath. Now, allow yourself to feel the earth. And we're going to just get centered here for a moment. Being grateful for this wonderful practice going to lift our arms to the sides like a bird as we inhale and then exhale, bringing the hands back to the ground. Inhaling, bring the hands up to the shoulders and pushing out as if we're holding up the walls that are collapsing on our sides. It's good to know that we have that power to keep these things in check. We have the power to hold up the ceiling above our head as we push out above our head. Exhale, pushing up the ceiling, keeping it from falling on, on top of us. Exhale, push out. Inhale, retract. Now exhale, pushing in front of us, sort of delineating our space lid, delineating our roles, setting limits. We are empowered to do all these things, of creating the space we need in our lives for our needs. And the needs of those that we care about, that we can affect, and even the needs of the planet that they are not one and different needs, they are one and the same. Now, gently tapping our eyebrows, activating chi points along the face, our cheekbones underneath our eye wells, also very activating of the areas around our sinuses, to our temples. I'm doing these about 30 times, tapping about 30 times very quickly, activating the chi points activating the area on our cheeks and between the lip and our chin, our nose and our upper lip, activating our lung points in the corner of our chest, our shoulder, switching sides, doing the same on the other side, and doing it underneath our collarbone, our kidney point, seven point. Underneath our sternum, activating the thymus. Our 
our ribs, between our ribs, where we also have some very tender points sometimes. That's usually an indication, a warning point for uh, maybe a meridian or energy line that's blocked. the mu point and then of course down our abdomen tapping sort of like with our karate chop part of our fist pouring that all the way up our chest and our torso up and down activating <clears throat> the varied organs our vital organs our digestive system our circulatory system our our liver, our spleen, our pancreas, our gallbladder. Now behind our back and our kidneys, back of our hands. Gently tapping, activating, tapping behind our leg, tapping the inside of our leg. Again our lower back, behind our glutes, tapping, slapping, whatever feels good for you, up the front, our torso, again, our lower back, behind our glutes, behind our legs, around our feet, inner legs, up to our Torso, slapping down the inside of our arm three times, turning our hand over, slapping down the outside of our arm three times. Switching sides, doing the same. Noticing feeling, embracing all our sensations, all of our humanity. Now cupping our hand and putting it on our occipital point, which is where our neck meets our skull, it's sort of like a rounded area. And moving our elbow out and our chin out, we inhale and then exhaling, bringing them both into alignment to center as we exhale. Inhale, chin goes one way, elbow goes the opposite way. Exhale, bringing them into alignment in front of us. And then moving down from three times in the occipital to three times in the middle neck and three times in the base of our neck where our neck meets our trapezoids, our shoulders, exploring all that with the cupped hand that allows for the flow of chi along those areas, those vital areas that connect our all our nervous system, our sympathetic, our parasympathetic nervous system and where it gets supported through our back upper shoulders and neck running into our medulla and our areas of our reptilian brain that deal with our autonomous nervous system allowing us to breathe and our heart to beat soothing all these areas so they can operate as they're designed automatically in a good, positive way. And our occipital point is actually where our parasympathetic, our vagal nerve, which starts, has extensions all the way down into our pubic bone, up through our digestive system, along different organs, meandering all the way back up, entering our brain through the area near our occipital point where the skull meets the uh, neck. And when we do this, we also allow for the better flow of blood into our brain. We grab 
one hand and and rub our shoulder across our chest three times on each side and like with some force but without hurting yourself crossing our energies we intertwine our fingers and then loop it around to our fists in front breathing in as we lift Balancing our energies for the day, activating the chi. For this practice, I want to thank you for joining us here at Open Circle for a quick Qigong session. Looking forward to connecting in the future. <laughs>